Hello everyone and welcome back to the 15 part tutorial and this time what we will get, we'll do is uh, I'm gonna create some uh, very you know variety of stones like huge stones as boulders and we're gonna hide this thing here I'm gonna create a cube press F8 you can scale it you can use the attribute editor to add a little bit uh, subdivisions so okay and you can go and mesh smooth this so I'm smoothing it by three and you can see every time I'm using something different way to do things so that's good for you to a little bit get familiar with different menus that can give you the same things anyway let's bring this here this one here let's some um, keep some distance between them okay i'm gonna use the sculpting brush i'm gonna grab tool let's scale with the b and left mouse click and well this one is the selected one so we need to form this one and gonna just pull this a little bit I don't want this to be an island <laughs> I just want this to be a rock a sort of rock okay huge rock later on you can scale them up scale them down rotate them I don't know use them as boulders use them as little stones on your scene doesn't really matter we just need some variation of them so I'm gonna select this one and then grab tool inside a little bit like so just to get rid of those hard corners okay and let's select this one with the selection tool click the grab and perform the same thing by the way you can copy those now and get a little bit slight changes to them uh so so like so don't keep any sharp edges as of the square we don't need this to look like squares and i'm gonna copy this one move it over here click the grab tool continue this one to change it a little bit different so it will look different than the other one there okay you can scale this to the side sorry well something is wrong here I'm gonna undo whatever I just did press F8 no I don't know, this is a bug. <laughs> this is a weird bug. I can't really tell why this is happening, but right now it's turned into sphere. Nice. Let's just delete by type history, maybe it will. This is a really nice bug. Anyway, we have those three. I think this is acceptable. So I'm gonna grab those three, move them away from the scene, just so I can bring back the highland. And 
Now, I want to set this one. And it's always better to rotate these because you can't really uh, be sure unless you play with it a little bit if this is like the best way to put this. I want it to be big and I want it to be near this uh, place here. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm gonna duplicate this one and move it away. And I'm gonna grab this one, scale it up. I'm gonna move this one next to it from this side. Don't run over the barrel or the other uh, surface there. Just try and stick this somehow, make it bigger maybe. And in some way that it will look nice that, yeah, that's fine. Now, for the rest of what I'm thinking, uh, what I'm thinking is that you may want, if you, if it's going to be island like in a, in a sea, inside a sea, so you may want to have those even here, you know, some sort of uh, different ground to meet with the island, you know, with the sea. So we'll try and create something that you will Yeah, let's grab this one, move it over here. Let's scale it up. move this a little bit up here and that's okay that they're intersect intersecting there they are like popping out from the ground I'm gonna rotate this one in a very strange way that it won't be recognized as the same stone or rock Now uh, let's scale this up. This one will be bigger than them. <coughs> like so. This one, maybe I will stretch it a little bit, like so. I'm trying to make sure that I don't have any gaps like open, like this one here, too much, so. Control D to duplicate this thing. <coughs> Rotate this. Yeah, that way it will be the correct angle to do this. So okay. All right. Now just be aware again, this is doesn't have to be a floating island. So this is why I'm creating this. And it's just uh, to feel some, you know, give some natural feeling to this terrain here. I'm gonna rotate this as well. Move it along inside there. OK. 
Okay. And we can continue this on and on. So just do something with your spare time. So, Control D, duplicate this, move it there, rotate, bring this into different position near, maybe I rotate this a little bit, like so, I don't know, that area is a little bit weird here so it's either that I will settle with just laying this here or I will start uh, modify this with the uh, you know the grab tool so I don't want to use the grab tool right now I'm duplicating this again rotating it differently different angle move it side next to it and up here maybe rotate it a little bit that way okay Anyway, you get the idea, right? Just try and make something a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna grab the grab tool just for a second. I wanna cover sort of the parts here. Just hide them a little bit. Maybe here, a little bit, here. I don't want this to like be floating in mid air. Uh, it's better that they will look like they are sticking out from that island and not. Okay. And we can take two of them. These two, for instance, Control D, duplicate them, move them here. So we will have something here that make this area nice this one here maybe lower <coughs> inside there I'm gonna rotate this one and I'll leave it there that way okay Control D to duplicate this thing, rotating it. Let's take this one there. No, more of like that. Okay, grab this thing, move it aside. Let's cover other areas. Yeah, like so. Rotate this, and duplicate it. Move it over here, stick him outside a little bit. Cool, control D to duplicate this. Rotate it a little bit different. Like so, and stick this one as well. Okay.
it's very crucial to rotate them and find the best angle that they are exposed in from that ground okay this one is nice you see and you can do it also there if it's still gonna remain as floating island uh, let me see something here Control D, I will duplicate this thing. I'm going to add two around here, like so. And Control D to duplicate this one. Move this along here next to it. Control D to duplicate one, that one. Move it following here. Let's rotate this one because it's almost the same, we scale this and stick it in there okay, that's cool alright, I'm gonna grab this one and duplicate this and rotate this and we'll stick them in be this one in between there duplicate it again rotate this and let it well this is not much of a rotation yeah I want to expose that area so I'm gonna move it along here stick out that way maybe go there go there Okay, let's take this one, control D, duplicate it, and move it here, let's rotate it a little bit that way, maybe that way. Try to match the, that height there for those rocks. See? That way. And I think this is it for this part. So just filling up this emptiness and we will do more things later on. So just try to see what fits you there and how you like it and spend some time by rotating them that's important all right so have a good day and let's save this first before and that's it see you bye bye